Hi, I'm here with Jay Baer, and Jay, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. And Jay, I wanted to just um, pick your brain a little bit uh, for people who are emerging in their fields, uh, people with great big, great causes, not big budgets, small budgets, any great tips to help them get started? Yeah, the great thing about social media is it allows you to sort of play David and Goliath, right? It doesn't really matter so much about how big you are, it matters how big your idea is. So it is about taking your idea and breaking it up into small pieces and spreading those pieces around the internet, whether it's videos, whether it's interviews like this one, whether it's blog posts. Um, a lot of people feel like they need to take their big idea uh, and, and create the ultimate white paper or create the ultimate video, and that's not really the answer. It's creating a lot of little pieces of content that tell your story because it gets more bait in the water for other people who might want to be attracted to your cause, and it's more bait in the water for your most important customer, which is some guy named Google. <laughs> the importance of Google. The importance of Google. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what business you're in. Google is your most important customer. So how can you uh, how can you give yourself a better shot in Google? Well, I mean, part of it is is by creating lots of pieces of content instead right. of just one, and also understanding how it is that people could conceivably search for you, right? A lot of people want say, oh, I want to be number one for for you know food donations or for charities. Like, no, you don't. You don't want to be number one for a charity. It's insane. You got to be more specific uh, about about the kind of things that you want to be found for. Drilling down. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And what about mistakes? Do you see a lot of mistake, classic mistakes that people can avoid? If you could give somebody a learning curve, help here. Especially in not-for-profits, what we find is that there's a tendency to talk about you, oh, yeah. about your organization, instead of talking about the beneficiaries of the work that you do, right? right? Social media is about people, not about logos. And the more you talk about yourself, the easier it is for people to tune you out. So you want to talk about the people who, who volunteer, the people who donate, the people who benefit. It's those human stories that are memorable, not the look how great our organization is and we're going to buy new furniture or whatever that is. And storytelling. Yep, right? it's all about the storytelling. And you have a book? I do, I've got a book called The Now Revolution, Seven Shifts to Make Your Business Faster, Smarter, and More Social. It's all about how companies and nonprofit organizations can kind of make the shift to being social. Perfect, Jay, thank you My very pleasure. much. My pleasure.